What is up, guys? Friday, free preset, how to bake and base. Well, you need serum to do this, or I think Audacity. I think someone did it in there too, and you could get like the same uh, effects, and then you'll just use like samples to put inside your daub. But if you have serum, this is how we're gonna do it, and uh, well. Basically, what I did was on canva.com, I typed in bacon, picked a picture, downloaded it. It happened to be a dollar because bacon, I've never had free bacon. So, if you guys want to know what it sounds like, this is what the final preset sounds like. <laughs> How to bacon import PNG. You just literally drag that on there. This is what the bacon sounds like. Uh yeah. Now let's put it down. Okay, so we could work with this. We could we could work with this. I, I I hear stuff coming out. So, to have it run, that's basically it, or you could do, and right now you can tell it sounds like poo poo, caca, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> So what we're gonna do, if you guys haven't seen any of the other videos, basically what we do is you, uh, shoot, I haven't done this well. Remove multi-selection, okay. You start removing shit. Remove multi-selection, and then you remorph it. Okay, so those are gonna be the frames I'm gonna use. Uh, we got it down to nine. Now we're gonna do more of spectral. Now, what that is doing is filling up the gaps for us. So, much cleaner. We're gonna do all fun phase, or I mean, we're gonna zero fun phase, or we're gonna do all. Uh, we're gonna. I kind of like both, but we'll use this one for this one. Uh, we're going to normalize, and then we're going to remove DC, <coughs> remove DC offset. Alright, so wavetable is done. Now we can start editing it. If you want to do the quick and easy way, boom, FMB. And now you can sound like everybody else. Uh, but we're gonna go and shape it first. Oh, I forgot. Is it shift click? There we go. That was a uh, shift alt click to switch it. Cut a 
get that sub. And we'll have this pump with it. I'm gonna do my favorites, which is the hyperdimension and automating the mix. We're gonna do some distortion before. And again, some more modulation. That's pretty cool. So maybe something like that. Add a little high to it. Uh, basically, flanger, phaser, or chorus. It's kind of like just pick one or the other. Sometimes you can use them all, sometimes you can use two of them. But we're just going to stick with that. We're going to try some reverb on it, a uh, different filter maybe. Uh, we could try compressing it, see what it sounds like. And we'll be wrapping up how to bake it. to do on the reverb is kind of like the same thing but opposite I think we're gonna try So it's kind of cool, it adds like a little sweep to it. And then depending on when you let go of the key, you'll have that tail or not. So, none. A lot of reverb. So that's kind of cool. I like doing stuff like that, just adding a little more character to it. Which you could even do it on um, other stuff too, just to give it a little more character. Maybe even on this, give a little high end on So I kind of like that. Now we could add another oscillator, but I really like using the settings on here before thinking about doing that. So let's just uh, play with these, see what happens. So as you can see, it's like pushing and squeezing, and as you squeeze it, So this is kind of like an old school dubstep bobble and all we did was the sync. Then you can map it out on here and play with the sound. You can do like auto automation and have it morph throughout the sound or you could have like an LFO and just kind of play with it. So that's cool. Um, kind of 
kind of like the full one better. Let's play with the bend and uh, some of the, just kind of scroll through them all real quick. But I think that's going to be the one we're going to stick with. So that kind of sounds cool if I wanted a, a dirtier bass, but I would just kind of like the high one. I think give us the most diverse result and have a really uh, cool preset to bend around into multi-genres. Uh, that one was a little cool, gave it like a a uh, more presence on it but honestly we're just gonna stick with the full I did like that one the best Alright guys, well that's how to bake in bass. I'm going to put this preset in the Dropbox folder for you guys right now. You're going to witness this right now. If I remember how to save, yes, I figured it out. We're going to Dropbox. We're going to public. We're going to free downloads from YouTube videos. We are going to Serum. And we are going to type in... Parent record sounds how to bacon base. There you go. How to bacon base. Presets in there for you guys. Uh, I do have the newest version of Serum, uh, unless I did do another update that I'm not aware of. But I did update on the 24th, I think, was the last one. So if you guys have not had that update, I'm sorry this preset will not work for you guys. But hey, splice $10 a month until you pay off Serum. I don't know why you would not have that $10 a month. Come on, guys. You could go walk the streets, pick up cans, and get way more than $10 a month. So get Serum. You're going to need it eventually, you know. Otherwise, people are going to rip on you for having torrents if you plan on making it professionally. Uh, but... Hey, if you want to stay at home and all that stuff and have no one take you seriously, go ahead, torrent away, you know. It's only a ticking time bomb. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already, which, again, I'm not sure why you would not be a subscriber, but if this is your first video, click that red button. Comment what you want to learn. Comment what you like about this. Share sound design tips how would you process this bass a little differently or what would you add to the bass whatever come with that below so the community could benefit from that let's exchange ideas let's exchange knowledge and let's just all lift each other up to the next level of our productions so see you guys in the next video